You brought this upon yourself, Frieza. Though I have to admit, I didn't see it ending quite like this. Cause you saying? Uh... I'm going to make my way back to Earth. You can stay here and suffer the same fate as this planet. I beg you. Uh, please have mercy. Please have mercy. I beg you. How can you beg for mercy? How many people begged you for mercy before you slaughtered them? How many? I beg you. I've given you just a little bit of my energy. That's all you get. You're on your own. Greatest being in the universe, and that is why you, you must, you must die by my hand! You fool! What? No. Curse him! Curse that wretched Saiyan! The mortal enemies known as Frieza and Goku had once fought to the death on the planet Namek. During their epic showdown, Goku's anger triggered something. With Goku having defeated Frieza, it was believed the two fighters would never again cross one another's paths. But that was not the case. Determined to exact his revenge, in preparation for the battle, Frieza subjected himself to intense training mere moments before the Frieza force were to arrive on Earth. <laughs> the time for vengeance has finally arrived. Goku and Vegeta continue their own intense training under the watchful eyes of Whis on Beerus's planet. The two warriors are eager to push the Super Saiyan God form. I believe that will do for today. I must say, you two have made considerable progress with respect to movement. Still needs work! You're still relying far too much on your head. <laughs> You really do like to overthink everything, Vegeta. Shut up! You're only thinking less because you're an idiot! Perhaps you've noticed, but you always manage to be one step behind Goku. You're far too tense, making it more difficult for you to fight at your full potential. You need to relax more, like Goku. You just had to bring that up, didn't you? Goku, you, on the other hand, are overconfident. Let your focus waver and you're doomed to fail. What? We'll work on conquering these shortcomings of yours as we continue your training. All right. Just gotta focus. Well, I think that's enough rest for now, wouldn't you agree? Yeah! As the two of you have unique needs in your training, what do you say we do this one at a time? You got it! You know, I actually prefer doing it this way. <laughs> you won't get any complaints from me! Oh my, you two really don't get along, do you? Now then! Let's start things off with you. Woohoo! Too bad for you, Vegeta. <laughs> Makes no difference. Go ahead, I'm gonna surpass you anyway. This is awesome! I'm gonna get loads stronger. Are you ready to begin your training? Don't become overconfident, and don't give your opponent no You're only to bolster one's defense of reeks of disaster. Be aware of your surroundings. Oh, my God. 
Do not let your guard down. Have you forgotten your training? Your technique has improved since last time. The pace at which you're learning is impressive, Goku. I've got you and your training to thank for that, Whis. What do you think of this? What do you think of this? With your performance, Goku, you seem capable of visualizing that which lies beyond Super Saiyan God. Yeah, I think I can figure out the rest on my own. On to the next task. After all, it's absolutely paramount that both of you increase your strength and power right now. Right. Couldn't agree more. And I think Vegeta's gonna be just fine. <laughs> It's finally... Right, now let's mark my word. <laughs> if this is the regimen I prepare... Now then, let's have you break through the walls limiting you. Try to imagine yourself capable of far more than you are now. 
Vegeta, color me impressed. You call yourself a genius, and I dare say it's not mere hubris. <laughs> I still haven't reached yours or Lord Beerus's level. You always have your nerves wound up in a bunch. Find a way to conquer this shortcoming, and you'll no doubt push your godly power even further. <laughs> Once you're ready to resume your training, please promise to come and find me immediately. Fine, I've got it. <laughs> Have you gotten all of your affairs in order, then? Your task will be to rely less on your mind and more on your body. You not to be so tense. Relax and try to remain calm. Thinking of an action first and then performing it is too slow. Just to remember that. Feel your body and its movements. Allow them to come. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 
thinking too much. Signals from your brain take far too long to reach your muscles. What do you think of this? What do you think of this? Remain vigilant. I'm afraid your struggles are the most. Going to regret not taking me seriously. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of this? <laughs> what do you think of this? <laughs> Okay, let's stop here. Your speed was extraordinary. I'm more aware of my surroundings. This is what I wanted. I'm impressed with your performance, Vegeta. You seem capable of visualizing that which lies beyond Super Saiyan God. My goal is clearer than ever. All that remains now is to put this new power the two of you have attained to the test. Goku and Vegeta, more determined than ever to push themselves even further, continued their training with Whis. In the end, the two Saiyans had managed to successfully achieve a wonderful and new power. You're both here. Excellent. Yep, let's get right into it while it's all still fresh in my mind. The time has come to find out if you've actually attained a power that goes beyond a god, Kakarot. <laughs> I very much look forward to seeing the fruits of your labor, gentlemen. form takes a lot out of you, even more than Super Saiyan God. It's probably because we've become Super Saiyans while in our godlike state. Still, this power is incredible. Hmm. Look at that. Your efforts have finally paid off. Whew. Though, it looks like we can't stay in this form for very long. Which means we haven't completely mastered it yet. You two have really surprised me. You know, I'm pretty surprised too, if I'm honest. I had no idea I could go beyond Super Saiyan God. <laughs> You're not the only one who pulled it off. Indeed. You two have both managed to become Super Saiyans with the power of Super Saiyan Gods. Hmm. That's a rather cumbersome way of putting it. Let's see. Your hair becomes blue while in this form, so perhaps Super Saiyan Blue would be more suitable. Super Saiyan Blue, huh? That'll be easy to remember. Now that you've achieved this power, I want you to engage me in battle using all of your power. Up for it? This should help you come to terms with your new form. All right, let's do this! Uh... Yeah! Magnificent! Well now, let's begin. Now, now, you two, this is certainly not the time to swap. Oh, my God. 
training session here. You two are phenomenal. It seems the Super Saiyan Blue form is becoming second nature to the pair of you. Should the two of you learn to work together, I dare say you could possibly go toe-to-toe -to -toe with even the likes of Lord Beerus. Whoa, really? Well, to tell you the truth, I'd much rather fight him by myself. <laughs> I'm the one taking Lord Beerus down, and I'll do it without your help. Oh, Father, this intense rivalry between you two is proving most troublesome. So, Whis, could you maybe train me some more? I really want to master this Super Saiyan Blue power. <laughs> it would be my pleasure. What? I'm not going to let you hog all of Whis's time. I'm training too. Uh, at least you two see eye to eye on something. Very well. <laughs> Meanwhile, on Earth, Gohan's calm, carefree life was interrupted when he was summoned by Piccolo to engage in some grueling training. <sighs> All right, take a breather. Whew. I haven't done anything this intense in a long time. You're a lot sloppier than before. Seems like these peaceful times have made you soft. Yeah, sorry about that. It's just my mom keeps giving me a hard time about my studies. <laughs> huh. I don't care about your studies. You can't neglect your training. That's the one thing you should never skimp on. Uh, yeah, you're right. I'll try to work some into my schedule when I can. We're getting right back into it after this break, and it won't be nearly as easy as... Huh? Huh? What was that? S some sinister energy is making its way here. Yeah, I know this energy all too well. The large source of energy Gohan and Piccolo sensed belonged to none other than Frieza and his men. That's right, Frieza had finally made his arrival to the planet Earth. I've waited far too long for this moment. That said, it seems I have a little time to kill before Goku makes his arrival. Perhaps I should have some fun while I wait. <laughs> Unbeknownst to Gohan and Piccolo, they weren't the only ones who sensed the arrival of Frieza and his menacing troops. Krillin, Tien, and the others, sensing the sudden appearance of an evil energy, made their way to Gohan and Piccolo's location. A lot of energy levels are cropping up all over the place. They're on the move. Yeah, we better hurry after them. Yeah, there's a lot of them. We'll have to split up and handle each group separately. Got it. Let's go. They're more powerful than we originally thought. Stay sharp. Right. Yeah. And so, the fight with the Frieza Force had officially begun. Huh? Uh. 
fight, but this is the end for you. <laughs> That'll do. Frieza's pretty far away. And I'm sensing a lot of other strong energies closer by. I recognize these energy sources. All right, better hurry. What's Frieza doing here on Earth? What's this? Jeez. Ha! Here I go! 
said they've gotten stronger. Unfortunately, you're stronger too. Enter the blue hurricane! Enter the red magma! Here I go!
continue force is ready for battle! Gohan and his team arrived at the source of the very powerful energy. At nearly the same exact time, Piccolo and his team appeared and met up with Gohan's people. Before the warriors was a spaceship. That's Frieza's spaceship. I'm guessing the guys we fought earlier came here in that. Seems like you also had to deal with Frieza's men. Yeah. They were a lot stronger than the last time we fought them. I'm sensing some seriously strong energy from that ship. It's incredible! <laughs> Once again, you have done remarkably well in besting Ginyu and his men. Seems it's difficult to find good minions in this universe. I must commend you on a job well done. And what's more is that you've come to greet me. I'm fairly impressed. Frieza! Well, if it isn't the Namekian who attempted to fight me. Oh. And you would be Goku's son, would you not? Now, where might Goku be? My dad's off somewhere far away training. He's not here. How unfortunate. I was hoping to kill him and blast this backwater planet into a million pieces. What the hell are you doing here? What do you even want? <laughs> Is it not painfully obvious? Must I spell it out for you? Revenge. Nothing more, nothing less. Goku must suffer for what he's done to me. I had a feeling it was something like that. The utter humiliation that Saiyan caused me. I will not allow his actions to go unpunished. Unfortunately, he doesn't seem to be here. No matter. However, I am not a patient man. I don't intend to just sit here and wait for him. Perhaps I'll warm up by torturing you first. <clears throat> Power he's hiding. Freeze us far stronger than he was the last time we fought him. Okay, I think that's a good stopping point. Phew. This Super Saiyan Blue transformation is getting a lot easier to manage. I intend to perfect this form, and once I do, you'll be the one in my Shadow Kakarot. There's no way I'm letting that happen. <laughs> Simply marvelous. You two have improved leaps and bounds. It's... Oh, it seems I have a call from Earth. Please, excuse me for a moment. Why, hello, Bulma. Have you managed to concoct yet another tasty... Did he say Bulma? I see. I'll be sure to pass your message on to Goku and Vegeta. Sending my love and all that. Take care. Something happened on Earth? Well, 
It appears Frieza is alive and has invaded Earth with his troublesome little army. What? Frieza's alive? Huh? Why in the world would Frieza choose to do this right now? Beats me. I haven't the foggiest. If I had to venture a guess, I'd say he's there to get revenge on you, Goku. Ah, Lord Beerus! Did you enjoy your nap? It was fine, but I would have slept even better if I hadn't gone to bed on an empty stomach. Even if he is seeking some sort of revenge, Trunks and Goten should be more than enough to put someone of Frieza's power level in their place. Oh, I'm afraid that doesn't appear to be the case. What do you mean? I'm not privy to the specifics, but Bulma informed me that the others seemed rather concerned when they ventured to the battlefield. Earth may be in more trouble than you realize. Maybe he's undergone some sort of training in preparation for his grudge match against you, Goku. I'm not really sure what's going on, but we'd better not waste any more time and head back to Earth fast. Yes, indeed. Shall I transport you straight there? All right, we're ready, Whis. Let's get back to Earth. Good. Now then, I'd hold on tight if I were you. Not so fast. I'll be going to Earth, too. Oh, you'd like to join us, Lord Beerus? Wait, are you going to help us fight Frieza, Beerus? Of course not. Don't be ridiculous. I'm a god of destruction, remember? It's not in my interest to destroy anything there. I'm only joining you to get my hands on some more of your planet's delicious food. Did you not hear me when I said I was hungry? Oh, so that's why! Besides, I can't imagine you'd want me to fight Frieza anyway, would you? I know you prefer fighting alone. <laughs> hey! Enough of all this talking! If we don't get back to Earth immediately, then Bulma might... Uh, I mean, Trunks and the others might beat Frieza before we have a chance to fight him! Yeah! You're right. Well then, off we go. Hopefully Earth is still there when we arrive. Hey, don't talk like that, Whis. And here we are. Yeah. This energy is definitely frees us. Yeah, and it's really strong energy, too. You've wasted enough time. Let's go! Yeah, you're right. Okay, we're heading out. Thanks a bunch for everything, Whis and Lord Beerus. I really appreciate it. You're very welcome. Good luck. All right, Whis. Let's go get some Earth food. My, someone's impatient. <laughs> How is Frieza this powerful? <laughs> Please don't tell me this is the best you can do. This is hardly the warm-up I was hoping for. I'm afraid this pre-revenge entertainment is starting to bore me. Perhaps he's become painfully aware of my increased strength and power. No way! My dad would never do anything like that! You're a fool if you think Goku would run away! Hm. I really expected Goku to show. And what's worse is that you lot failed to entertain me. Such a shame. You will die. Here and now. No! Over! Whew! Looks like we got here just in time. Dad! You're here! You made it! Goku! Vegeta! You sure took your time! Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Get out of my way! Now! You shouldn't have come here. Looks like I'll have to put you in your proper place, Frieza! <laughs> So you've arrived at last. I've been waiting a long time, Goku. I would admit, I wasn't expecting Vegeta to be with you. Tell me, what the hell are you doing on this planet? You mean you really don't know? I'm here for revenge, of course. Particularly against you, Goku. Wait a second, Frieza. Don't tell me you're still sore about what happened on Namek. Sore? I'd never experienced defeat until I crossed paths with you. The embarrassment stayed with me from the moment I was killed and sent to Earth's hell and every second since my resurrection. I've come to settle the score and show you that I am the superior being. I even trained, which is something I had never done before. Glad to hear I had such an effect on you. If you weren't rotten to the core, you'd sure make a great rival. 
What? It's that sort of drivel that makes me loathe you with every fiber of my being. Sorry, Vegeta. Looks like me and Frieza are both ready to go at it. You don't mind letting me go first in this match, do you? <laughs> Fine. I warn you. If I catch you screwing around, I'm jumping in. Thanks, Vegeta. Okay, Frieza. I know you've got a grudge against me, but I'm not gonna let you destroy Earth. I don't care about your little planet. It means absolutely nothing to me. I'll be satisfied as long as I have my rightful revenge. Now then, tremble in fear before my amazing new power! Aren't you going to transform into a Super Saiyan? I don't think I need to just yet. Uh -huh. You seem rather confident in yourself. Yeah, I guess. Oh. <laughs> self-improvement type, but I never imagined you'd be this good. Well, you weren't the only one who trained. I've been keeping up my own regimen. I see. It seems you've attained a great deal of strength since we last fought. I have, and you're a lot stronger too. It's like I'm fighting a completely different person. Fortunately for me, I've done a great deal of training. You're hiding something, aren't you? Well deduced for a simpleton. I've managed to achieve an even greater power in preparation for this moment. Well, what are you waiting for? Stop talking and start showing! <laughs> Very well, then. Allow me to show you just how much more evolved I have become! He's through the roof! <laughs> I've made my new form gold, so it's clear who's sitting atop the pecking order. And to simplify things even further, let's call this Golden Freezer. Shall we? 
You're no doubt aware that my change goes far deeper than just my shimmering exterior, yes? I am. And even though I'm excited, I have to admit I'm also kind of nervous. I don't know what to expect now. Well now, it seems Freezer's managed to increase his power by quite a bit. His lust for revenge has afforded him a great deal of motivation. If I didn't know any better, I'd say Goku may have finally met his match. While it is true Frieza's increase in power is remarkable, <laughs> I wouldn't count Goku out of this just yet. Alright! Now it's my turn to show you what I can do! I'm afraid not! What? Time's up! Beat it, Kakarot! Aw, oh, come on, Vegeta! Things were just starting to get interesting! You only have yourself to blame! You should have stopped playing around ages ago! Now move aside! Seriously? Oh, come on! What's this? Vegeta, you wish to fight me? If you think you can defeat me, you're more delusional than ever! <laughs> What is this? No, not you too! That's right! You didn't know, did you? Yes, it's true. I too can become a Super Saiyan, a warrior of legend. And now, on top of that, I have the power of a god! <laughs> well? Are you ready to continue, or do you need a moment? Come on, let's see if the almighty Lord Frieza has what it takes to defeat me! Hmm. I'll admit I'm surprised by your transformation, but this changes nothing! I am still far beyond you! Allow me to show you the true power of Frieza! The Emperor of the Universe!
Kiss your ass goodbye, Frieza. No. 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 I'm afraid you're finished, Frieza. Go back to hell. So damn funny. I'm not the one who's through here. You and your planet are finished. What? The Earth! Well, Frieza did something quite fascinating there. In a last-ditch effort, he took out the whole planet. So, so what happened to everyone? And where's Frieza? I'm afraid all the inhabitants of Earth have perished. Frieza, on the other hand, is most likely still alive. What? But how? He's able to survive in the vacuum of space. <laughs> how surprisingly clever of him. No, no way! So, now that Earth's gone, that means the Dragon Balls are gone too! We can't wish everyone back. That sounds about right. Man, this sucks! I should have finished him off when I had the chance. Indeed. Are you ready to make this right, then? Huh? This turn of events happened because of your own naivety. Rather than making short work of Frieza, you had too much fun with the fight and got careless. I, I know. So try not to mess things up this time. Destroy Frieza and send him back to hell. This time? What are you talking about? I possess the ability to turn back time, albeit only a brief amount. 
Three minutes is the most I can manage. You can turn back time? That's what I'm saying. Once I do so, you will be returned to just moments before the Earth was destroyed. Oh! Then that means I can take out Frieza! Exactly. Finish him off quickly, and your planet will be spared. This is great! I had no idea this was even an option! This is a one-time deal. The only reason I'm allowing this is because I don't want to miss out on Earth's delicacies. As I said before, do not mess this up. I won't! We'll see. I'm going to rewind time now. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do this! Kiss your ass goodbye, Frieza. No. 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 I'm afraid you're finished, Frieza. Go back to hell. <laughs> What's so damn funny? I'm not the one who's through here. You and your planet are finished! Freezer! What? Frieza, looks like I'm gonna have to finish you off myself after all. I'm not letting you pull any more of your tricks! But how? How could he possibly know what I was planning? No! No! No, 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 no! You have gotten in my way for the last time, Goku! This will not stand! I refuse to share a universe with the likes of you! There's no doubt about it. You're pure evil! You're just now realizing that! I need to reduce you in this sorry excuse for planning to dust! On my watch or not!
Damn you, Kakarot! Why'd you do that? Sorry about that, Vegeta. Trust me, I've got a good reason. I don't give a damn what your reason is. My turn with Frieza wasn't over! Dad, what in the world happened? <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Well, now, this is embarrassing. A god of destruction saving a world instead of destroying it. Oh, don't be like that, Lord Beerus. At least we still have access to Earth's mouth-watering food. And just so you know, those two seem to have mastered that new power of theirs. I dare say they may have what it takes to give you a good fight. Provided they drop their bravado and actually attempt to work together, it could happen. Hmm. I doubt that. He turned back time. Kinda hard to believe. Still, if anyone can pull off a technique like that, it'd be Whis. You know, I've been doing some thinking. We managed to win this time, but we probably could have finished off Frieza super quick if we had fought together from the very beginning. I'd sooner die than work alongside you. I don't need your help or anyone else's. <laughs> Glad to hear that, Vegeta. I'd much rather fight alone too, if I'm completely honest. <laughs> Those two. They are quite the handful, aren't they? Let's go, Whis. Well, at least they finally agree on something. <laughs> And so, Frieza's villainous plan to invade Earth and exact revenge against Goku was foiled yet again. The world was once again at peace. However, Goku and Vegeta would not rest, but instead went back to continue their training to become stronger and push themselves to even greater levels. The question remains, was this the last time Goku and Frieza would cross paths? Only time will tell.